Many people that play Roblox don't have very strong computers. That's why in this video, I'll be showing you how to get more FPS in ways specific to ERLC and in ways that are more broad to help FPS and performance in all types of games on Roblox. So just to give a quick, basic, brief introduction about this, guys, if you guys already don't know, um, Roblox caps out at 60 FPS, and unless you have a very specific tool that will be mentioned later in this video that you guys may have seen me use on accident or accidentally pop up, unless you have a very specific tool called the Roblox FPS Unlocker. But basically, even if you had the best computer in the world, you had the $5,000 NASA gaming PC, like $10,000 Juicer Beast Hype, like a uh, Hype Beast PC, you would, uh, and you didn't have RBX uh, Roblox FPS Unlocker, your FPS right here, when you look, it would just be capped at 60. So you'd have paid all that money um, to play Roblox for some reason, and to also only have it capped at 60. So not only am i going to be showing you how to uncap it if you can exceed 60 um but it just could be why like you're you click on this video you think well i have such a good pc why why is my game feel a little bit choppy um i'll be showing you how to fix that because it's probably capped at 60. and also some in-game features and other things that you can do to um actually maximize your fps so yeah let's get right into the video and methods now guys so enough of the chit chat now guys, let's get into the first method or actual way that we can increase our FPS. So you do this by, um, you can either press this Roblox icon button in the top left or a lot easier and a lot more people know by just pressing escape. Um, you'll see this this page here if you played roblox you obviously know what this is just click settings right here on these tabs then if you go down here you can see graphics mode um if if you want to set it to automatic um what this basically does is roblox tries and you uh roblox uses the information it knows about your computer and tries to make it a setting where it thinks is best for you but if you want to be in full control of what fps and graphics settings you're getting set it on manual and this uh meter is basically how much fps you want to get so you you put the meter on one bar if you want the maximum fps as you can see guys my fps is going past 250 even while i'm like recording and having all these things but obviously you guys have noticed the game has turned horrible um i i would never want to play actually on that setting which is why i always keep it on max and i can still get some good fps when i'm just gaming not recording obviously since i'm recording it's 80 again but um yeah that's basically what this is like i, I would say um if you have a very average pc let's say like your pc is like 600 to 700 bucks i would say leave it at exactly halfway right yeah, one, two, three, four, five. So you'd leave it on halfway, just so your game requires. Uh, no, your game uh, remains relatively. I mean, no, it's still kind of bad. Halfway is still kind of bad. Maybe that's just because I'm used to the max. But um, yeah, if if your PC is not that good, it's pretty average. I mean, like um, you just put it on halfway, so your game has at least some graphics. But it's not absolutely horrid, and it's not too high to the point where you just can't get any FPS. Because as you guys can see right now, I'm on half, and for me, I guess in my lens of eyes, it does look pretty bad. I mean, it's okay. It's not pretty bad. It's um, uh, it's mid. I I guess that's how I can describe it. But yeah, that's that's basically this method. You just go on this meter and um, you just see which one's right for you. If you don't care about the quality a lot, um, this is where uh, any Roblox game by the way guys, this is not just ERLC, but if you don't care about the quality a lot, you can put it on a lower setting even if you think that your PC is good enough. Like, let's say you want 120 FPS. If you want 120 FPS and you still and you have an average PC, you might have to set it down a bit. You might have to do some things outside of Roblox, like I don't know, like cleaning up your PC using some different methods on different videos that are like completely really advanced stuff to help boost your FPS. But um, yeah, no. If you uh, but it does affect actually your gameplay, your playability because as you can see the the render distance you can't see as far. Let's say like you're robbing I don't know like a store as a criminal, or you're chasing somebody as a police officer. Um, if they go out of your render distance and they like suddenly make a turn, you won't know where they are. And I don't know what just happened with that black lamp over there. But yeah, that the, it does bring up some gameplay issues if you have it way too low. Like, as in like two or one bar, or maybe even three bars. But yeah, th that's for this method. 
So as I was mentioning guys in the previous parts of this video, um, I was mentioning FPS Unlocker. This is actually something that you have to do outside Roblox. I'll still cover it in this video guys, don't worry. But we're just gonna have to head outside of the game now. So now that you're on your browser, um, you it doesn't matter which one you use, obviously I'm just doing Opera GX, so I like to use that. Um, you want to do a quick Google search on your browser, do R RBA, or, I'm sorry, RBX FPS Unlocker, that's the name of the thing. And then it might pop up here. Um, the second thing is virus, it's not an actual virus guys, um, just go on to the first one. Uh, I'll go into the virus thing later on, so the first link, the first two links I think actually work. Um, I think it's just the first link, right? Yeah, it releases Austin slash FPS Unlocker GitHub. It's on GitHub. That's the thing it uses. Um, uh, the virus total thing is here, guys. So you go on it. You, uh, you can research it as much as you want. This is not a virus. You can use this virus total to see if it's an actual virus. Um, but basically, what you do now that you're on this page is you would go into the assets here, which is what the thing is, and you would click on this actual thing, RBX uh, FPS Unlocker. So you click it, then downloads it on your computer. So guys, wherever you have your um, your browser downloads, it might go into your downloads folder. That's probably where most of you guys will go. Wherever you had it set as, it will go. Um, it was in my downloads folder. I'll ju I just dragged it into my desktop. So you open the file that you just downloaded, the RBX uh, FPS Unlocker. You can use WinRAR or um, as like something to extract it. You don't actually have to, I think um, your computer already has an extractor, so um, if you don't have Win, WinRAR, sorry, um, just right click your thing, and if you don't have WinRAR, but this is WinRAR, it will just say extract here, so you don't actually need WinRAR to extract it. So um, that's what you do if you don't have WinRAR. If you do have WinRAR or 7-Zip or anything like that, you should be pretty familiar with what the, uh, um, with what the actual process is with extracting files are so you would just extract it go into desktop click ok um oh s since i already have it it's giving me a replacement thing so i guess yeah i'll just replace it um oh it it, it can't like replace or something okay well that's fine uh, i don't really need to do this because i already have it obviously okay so now that you guys have the actual um the the file so you you uh, you extract the zip and then you extract it to anywhere you want i don't know why i keep doing that um you extract it to when it, uh anywhere you want and you'll get this exe file it's called rbx fps unlocker.exe you double click it um i already have it running so it just gave me this error message but it has some settings on it like um i'm not recording this on screen right now but uh, wait, hold on. So you can actually do stuff like changing the, um, so, okay, wait, hold on. So yeah, um, as you guys can see, if I, once I set it to 30, it felt really bad. So I'm, I'm just going to put it on 360 or none, and none is a lot better, because now there is absolutely no cap at all. I'm running a good 200 FPS, but that's only because my graphics are lower. Um, there are other settings on it like um, the advanced, I have no clue what that is, but there, there actually, I'm not sure if there's anything else, I mean you can like load this, I have no clue what I just loaded, it said load settings, I don't know what that was. I don't think there's a lot else though, you can obviously control, uh, control the FPS cap, you can lock it or unlock it um, on Roblox Player and Studio, so if I click unlock, then I go back into my Roblox, it's on 60 now, or it's not. No, I think I just have to close it first. Yeah, there we go. So now my FPS is back on 60 when I locked it back up. So yeah, that's basically what the Roblox FPS unlocker is. Um, very simple explanation. It just unlocks your FP uh, FPS. That's basically all it does. So just to put it in the most example that makes the most sense. Is my car out of gas or am I just stuck? But yeah, that's the Roblox FPS unlocker for you guys. Yeah, that is basically all. I know this video is a little bit shorter, but I still hope that I helped a couple, a couple people, a few people, um, about their performance, not only in ERLC, but in Roblox games as a whole, just in Roblox as a whole. Uh, if you guys can make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, um, turn on the notification bell. I appreciate it all. Uh, I appreciate you guys all. And yeah, peace out.